Hello, welcome to my craft room at Troda. I had somebody say that they wanted to see how I did this paper towel roll. And I'm going to show you the basic elements of it, but I'm going to change it around to make it work for my lighthouse journal I'm getting ready to print out and do. So, let me show you how all the pieces and parts work on this one. It's eight and a half, I believe, or eight. I made it to where it would fit in your journal and have just these little ends stick up and down below. So it is about eight and a quarter. And um, I, I think all paper towel rolls are mostly the same. This is like two and five eighths wide. I flatten them in my uh, die cut machine. So I get them really flat. Some people don't have one. So they say they put them under books or a, a rolling pin. There's, there's different ways. I even suggested to somebody go out and get two boards and put one in between and roll over it with your car. <laughs> I mean, that would work. <laughs> but anyhow, there's got to be a way or means that you can flatten your paper towel roll. Um, everybody, thank you for coming to visit and see what I'm doing. And I hope you get some ideas from this. This I did this a couple years ago, so I've got my little instructions back here. But I mostly know what I did. Um, what... I think you can see on the back here too. I I actually sewed in half once I cut this uh, the eight and a quarter length. I sewed it right in half because this is two pockets for the top and the bottom uh, tags that are in it. Then the piece that got cut off the bottom, that's what became this piece that's got the little uh, the pie shapes in it. It I took it and I cut it. Um, I mean, not cut it. I sewed it. Well, I made sure it was square first, a perfect square. Then I sewed from here to here. If you can sew on these items, I did uh, show in the last paper towel roll how I use brads to keep this uh, down. Now, in some cases, you won't even need that. I mean, sometimes it holds down really well. But if there is some way you can get in here and at least secure the middle section, maybe with two brads on each side, that would make your pocket for you. So you could do that. Now the part up here with the little square, you may be able to get in there and be able to put a little bead of glue because you know you can you can cup it open like that. And if you, <laughs> you can cup it open like that and maybe if you can get a little bit of glue in there, you can get that shape. I, I just don't know though. Um, you might have to experiment. I mean, it's just, it's trash. So <laughs> cut one up and experiment and see if you can get in there. But yeah, each little piece was uh, made like a little wedge. And I was thinking, oh, you know, this could be like a little inspirational word or a little thought of the day or a little private message or something. I don't know. Just, I, I was, I like secret journaling. And then of course I, I glued this ribbon underneath of this top uh, cover sheet. So that's how that's secured. And then I put a little key charm on there. And then each one of these has got like, um, it's got like a butterfly and some kind of little saying. And it can be written on the back of. And it tucks right down in there. You have to just, you sometimes have to gauge. Once you've got all your, your sewing done or your brads in, you have to gauge how wide to make each one of these. This one had like this on it. So anyhow, that's just something fun that I was piddling around with the other year. And I'm going to show you the basics to this, but I'm going to make it different. <laughs> so let me set that over here. And here is our paper towel roll. It is a whopping <laughs> 11 inches long. Okay, so what I want to do is cut it off. And where's my pencil? cut it off at eight I'm gonna go ahead with eight and a quarter because my pages are usually eight and a half uh, by 11 and I fold them in half so we're just gonna go ahead and go with the eight and a quarter measurement and I'm gonna just go across like this I'm going and what I do is I try to line one of these up with an edge so I know I've got whoops pretty much a straight line Okay, let me throw that up there. And I'm going to go with my scissors. My scissors, my scissors. Okay, now this is the part where I was saying you've got to make sure this is square. So what is our measurements on that? Wrong end. <laughs> um, I've got 
almost two and three quarters and two and uh, it's two, half of two and a half <laughs> okay let's see so it's two and a half and a half after that that's how we will remember it so if you got a better way of getting to where you need it to be square you go right ahead <laughs> my brain works in weird ways uh, and I've got uh, my paper pads out over here because I thought you might like to see how I kind of go through them and figure out what I want to use for a particular project. I'll get it in my head first, and then I'll work it out. I got I don't know what these little things are there. I got them off there, though. Um, all right, now I'm going to take this and go ahead and sew it. I mean, that's what I've got to work with is uh, sewing and this is only going to have one big tag in it this time. It's not going to have several. Um, and there is something I need to do. I wanted to make a window in it. So i got to figure out how I can make a window. I sort of have an idea, and I'll have to see if it'll work out for me. But I need to get the cover page over here first. So before I sew this, let me show you my pads. And it, you might get an idea. Um, now, I love lighthouses. I love, love, love lighthouses. So, the one on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, that's where I've been mostly to see them. I've been all the way up from Virginia down the coast to Hatteras, which is the one with the black and white band. No, no, that's Bodie. The one, the, the one that's Hatteras at the very end is the, uh, like the barber pole one. Then you have to go across on the ferry to get to um, Okra Coke, which is just a white one. Well, I have never been down to uh, Cape Lookout, and I, I love diamonds. And Cape Lookout is made just like this. They're bigger to where they wrap around the whole the point goes from each side to each side but this is the, as close as I can get so this is what I'm going to use for my lighthouse so I'm pulling that out and this had these big flowers on the back I don't think I'm going to be sorry to lose those they're pretty but that's all right and then this is conservatory I got it at Walmart of course collar box they they have some pretty neat little two-sided papers so there's that one then what was my next step? Oh, my next paper that I'm going for is out of this one. This is Michael's Autumn Blaze, but it's got that one paper here that it's got several colors on it, and I think I can make that work to my wow. So we are pulling that out. I know it looks a little loud, but there's a reason for my madness. <laughs> and then... The next paper pad is this one, Ink Splatter. Now, I really like this one. The only thing I'm going to have this one for, it's going to be, and it's really neat. It's got like, um, it's got like a solid in the color, and then you've got a uh, either gold or silver uh, dotted one with the color and white. Then you have a gradation kind of a dotted one. And then you, and then that's it. You have that in each color. Now I'm going to the yellow one. This one, I think it's this one. Yeah, I don't think it's, yeah, it's not that one. Or that one. Okay, this is the one I want because this will be the page that it gets put on after I cut it down in the journal because it looks like sand. My lighthouse will be on the sand. So, that. Hang on. <laughs> I was getting them out of the way, so I had a place to put these. So this one gets put aside. It's just for, you know, later. But I'll show you what it looks like after we get done with it. Then this one has to be cut down. So we'll figure out how to do that and make it work just right. Now this one is the one that's going to go on my lighthouse. And it's not a, a very sturdy paper exactly. And I don't know that we need it... Yeah, I don't think we need it that sturdy. I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on here. 
and maybe I should do it this way or maybe I should do it upside down I want to get my one diamond though one of the diamonds like dead center so maybe this is the better way I, I want to make sure they're they're lined up in other words okay so I think this is good I want a little bit over here because I'm going to come down it's not going to be straight up and down <laughs> so how am I going to do it? Okay, I'm going to go right here with it, and then right, I don't want, wait a minute, I don't want that dotted line thingy. That's the only problem. Some of these pads give you that dotted line thing, and I don't like that. So we're coming right here with it, and we're going right there with it to be right up here to the the top corner. And right here. Whoop. All right. So, what I want to do is in, draw me a line from this point to this point down here at the very edge. And that's how we're going to do it. Like that. And then we're doing it on this side. It's it's the very small gradation, but there is a little bit of one. Now, that was, how much is that? That is about a half an inch, just a little bit more. So I think this went, and I've already messed up a little bit, haven't I? But I think it starts right there. So that's where I need to start. And it goes about to there. Okay, I just needed my point. You know how I am. Rush ahead, rush ahead. Okay, now up to there. We're good. Now I just have to cut it right here at this base, and then I can always trim that off. Okay, that's all we needed to do for the lighthouse, except I have a window I want to put in it. <sighs> always, always want to do something more difficult, don't I? But we're going to cut this part out and have that ready for our construction. All right. My, I can't ever get my hand to stay, you know, still to to cut. I have to sometimes put my hand on that cut and then start it. I don't know. Maybe that's an old thing. <laughs> I'm almost 60. I, mean, I turned 59 in March. It's rough on the body. <laughs> I, I do have an improvement, though. <laughs> My sciatica, oh, I woke up this morning and I didn't even realize, you know, I had sciatica. So, it has mostly gone away. Yay, it's time for celebration. <laughs> so, oh yeah, you can see the small, the small little bit of a, a curve there. That's all we need. We don't want it too big or it'll get snagged or something. I just need to get my pencil marks off of there. There we go. Okay, now. Oh, I want to do is get over here and do my Chrissy Crossy thing here. And I'm, I'm trying to think what I want to do here. I may go down through here and just do a line with my uh, sewing machine just so it holds down. I just don't want it to be bowed like that. See, that's what it would do if you didn't do anything else to it. And, you know, it would make it easy to get in and out of your pocket, but I'm not crazy about that. So let me do a little sewing and I'll be back. Okay, I had brown thread in there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter a bit. Okay, if I was to be making this one, how I've got this. Now, I've, I need to get in here and cut this open as well. These two were open, this one and this one. But these two ends are not. So they have to be cut open. So all you got to do is go down through here and do a little, oops, snip, snip. And it, oh, <laughs> I'm getting it everywhere. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's, oh, that's got a really thick part there. Rats. Yeah, you don't, it's like a, it's like a box of Cracker Jacks. You don't know what you're going to get inside. <laughs> so, you don't know exactly how it's laid out in there. You can always take a peek, <laughs> but you don't always oh, have the, the good stuff. Oh, okay. Now, the only thing I can say is that maybe, uh, I'm trying to get all these little 
squirrelies off of here is to go in with a bone folder and make sure you've got your little thing open or train it to be open you know stuff like that just so you're not going to have a really really hard time now do I even have this one open when you want to go and put something in now see where that uh, lap over is that may be a, a, a rough spot see you might have to, to glue that see how it's stuck out that's the only thing you got to do little maintenance with all right now this <clears throat> would be dead center I would have sewn across here or put brads across here to hold this center to make two pockets for this type and then what you're going to do is you're going to cover this first with your background paper then you're going to put that dead center and just glue it down it does it doesn't have to be any other thing but glued and of course you've got your little decoration on it already what i did here was for both of them i did like a background paper which was i think maybe a lilac and then i inked it with what is that sealish preserves or wilted violet it was one of those distress oxides and uh, then I layered it with this other piece that had like purple on it. So that was all I did for this one. And then you have your top and your bottom uh, tag to make. And that's that's all she wrote. Now, <laughs> with this one, I had an idea for once I get this one here. And I think I do need to trim it just a tad. See, it's go like this. And then this is going to go up here at the very top. And, well, maybe not that tall. Maybe like right here. I don't want it to stick out of the book, really. It's to go about right here. And it kind of looks like the top of the lighthouse. Now, wait a minute. That's right. I think I want to make this um, like another color. Like a dark or a light or something. Maybe a blue. I don't know. If I'm putting it on that background, I may go with that yellow. So anyhow, I don't want that to be part of the lighthouse, in other words. This is going to be the top of the lighthouse. Then, what I'm going to do is where each one of these slices is, that's going to be a piece of that yellow. And it's going to be the rays. Ooh, isn't that exciting? But I did want to put a window in here somewhere. Oh, let me think about this. <laughs> okay this just hit me i've been working this out uh i took my paper it's eight and a half or 12 by 12 and i cut it off to eight and a half so i cut this little wedge out of this scrap piece to put under here so my lighthouse stopped and see it blends into the background so you don't really see it but you get the full use of your belly band is what this does you don't have to like guess where it's going to be it's it's under there so my next thing was I needed my roof here. The peak of my roof is going to be black. So that's going to go there. Then I was trying to figure out, you know, I need a place for the light to be. And I had this Tim Holt stamp. It was an old one. I think you can actually get this in some of his cling stamps now. But I think I'm going to put that in there on a piece of this, maybe, as my light. And so I need to work this out, but that's where I'm going here. I'll be back. Okay, I'm still trying to work this out to where I'm satisfied with it. So what I did was the upper part, upper uh, half of this is black. And then I wanted to have the light in there. Uh, but when I put this all over the, the lower half of this, then I lost a lot of where my light was going to be. So I cut it down to where it was going to be right even with the two walls here. And so then I went in with a little piece, a little triangle of yellow that will blend it into the background and make it drop off. <laughs> and then I'm going in with a little piece of black that's going to go right in there. And that is going to allow me to get in there and do a little stamp here of this light. Uh, so it looks like it's it, I'm going to probably mask off this lower section where the, the diamonds are. So you're only going to see the top half of the light. So let me get this glued down, then we'll do the light trick. 
Okay, I went ahead and glued my cover on. I'm a little off, of course. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and I made my tag to go here. My idea for in here did not fall through. I was going to do a window, but I'm not quite sure how to get a window inside of that tube like that. I, I'm, I'm going to think about it. But anyhow, so... I got this pretty piece because it looks like the water and the ocean and the sunset kind of deal. So it's just a, a simple tag to go inside. But it's got really pretty colors and it sticks up a little bit because I cut it like a tag shape. And uh, it'll stick a little bit up out of your journal, which uh, that's fine. You could put like a dangle or something on it if you prefer. Now what I did here was I just took and I'm masking off that little bit of the diamond paper. And uh, I wanted to get in here, and I might want to just make sure I don't get off the mark and do the other side. Uh, the light is just going to go up through the center, and I'm going to do it in a white embossing powder. So we want to go ahead and ink this up with some Versamark watermark stamp pad. It's an old one. I've got a new one over there. I, I just like to to use up my product. I think you can actually get some of this and uh, refill your pad. See if I can see it shine. If you can see it shine, you know it's on there. Yeah, I can see it shining. I just want to get a good amount because I want that white to shine and I don't want to mess this up. This <laughs> is the only one I got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the the light mechanism go down below and I'm just putting the bulb itself there on that black. I thought to do it in gold or silver or something like that and then I just decided no I'll just I'll go with white because white is part of our color scheme. Oop, I'm a little off whoopsie doopsie but that's all right. Okay I need a little piece of paper. Hang on. Okay, never prepared, right? Never prepared. I'm gonna put my white on here. Tamp that down. Take that and see if it worked. I got a little bit of cast off, but you know, I don't think I care. It might give it an aged look. So let's take this off. <laughs> it is a little a little off the mark but okay um oh let's go ahead and take and put this back in our container and lit it before i start blowing stuff everywhere always take care of your product okay and that's done back down here now let's see how she comes out I know it's a little loud, but while I'm waiting for it to heat up, I want to thank all my subscribers and watchers for coming to visit and see what's going on today. I hope I gave you a few ideas. This is sort of a simple project, but you can always expand on it. And this needs to start turning because it's getting hot. I can see it turning, finally. <laughs> I might have to get my, hmm, I am going to have to get these over here. Whew. I wasn't that close to it, but it does get hot. All right. So there's our light. Now, what we want to do now is, got a little bit of dust everywhere. We're going to go ahead and glue this down. Well, actually, that's, let me, uh, okay. I went with these. These are our pieces that's going to go inside. Now, I made them two by two, or two inch square. Now, you want to go down a little bit on them, as you can see. So, sometimes it's easier maybe to put them in there and kind of draw. And what I, I wanted to do is give it a bow like I did the last time. So, it kind of went out like that. And then you're going to come back to this other side. But... uh 
you can use a newspaper or sometimes I use a scrap piece of paper whatever to get your your first one done and then I'm gonna cut it and use it as my template let me put it back in there and see if it worked and it can have ooh, yep that pretty much works you might want to cut it down just a little more but it's going to have like a beam it looks like a beam going around the outside where the light is going out okay there's two of them i used one i cut it down just a tad more and i used it as my template to do all the others and now we're going to glue this down and have it on there oops get my fingers on it now you do have to like i said work these pieces uh pockets you know they're pretty stuck once you sew it down like this so get in there with a bone folder or something and work that pocket open <laughs> now this is where we're going to the top and bottom can go all the way up it's just these these sides right here that have to be left a little bit it, the glue can't go all the way out in other words and I went and <laughs> went on the back of my paper there oh, okay I don't want to glue it down this is that barely arts glue I'm kind of afraid of it <laughs> all right let's put this down it's supposed to be right up to the tippy top and you're matching up your sides if you got fussy like me and <laughs> matched everything up I'm I'm matching up my diamond as well there we go more match up to the diamond than anything else but we're going to hold that down make sure it sticks good now I went ahead and made myself a door so we are going to put our little door on there and make sure everything sticks good and firm it's sort of a weathered wood looking door the more weathered the better it'll give it more character <laughs> so i'm going to put him in the dead center there we go and then i thought to do a little dot on the top of the lighthouse tower roof whatever and then um one will be a doorknob so i'm just cutting a couple little black dots out of a scrap and stick that oops stick it on as my doorknob <laughs> and then i'll stick this on at the top and the thing is i can only glue the lower half or lower triangle Ooh, that bled out. <laughs> that didn't sound good either. Oh my goodness. All right. Now, right there. And that helps cap the top of that little guy. I know he needed something. I just didn't know what. I keep wiggling him. There we go. Now, let's see if these will go in here easy enough. There we go. There's that one. And I, I did have these in, and I thought, well, no, I'm going to have to be able to line my piece up to put it down. Hmm. Okay. Now, where's my paper? So, here is the paper that it's to go on, right here. And it will be a belly band for right on this side. And then you can stick whatever you want under it. Now you can ink the sides if you want, if you want to ages up. I even thought to do some little rays or something that's coming out from uh, these here. And I may still do that, which you will see if I change anything on this, you'll see it when I start pilfering through my, my Lighthouse Journal. I got to get it together, got to print the pages out. I do have something over here I want to show you though, something I've been doing. Or just got done with. Um, I did a video that I'm 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 doing this <laughs> video on Cinco de Mayo, so I will have posted this video here on Friday. And uh, it's I don't know it, it's some Roxy challenge items that I did back in 
2021, and I must have done it through scrapbooking with me, Mrs. E. Edith. She must have done these, and that's where I saw it, because I wasn't following Rachel then. And uh, this is Artie May's pretty paper, but you're supposed to do two big journal cards in here, and then it, it can go in a pocket. This one's a little wider. It's about five inches, so it could go in a tuck or something, or the front pocket. This one was a daisy. This was like the, their journal boat. And I try to pick things that were, you know, pretty images. This is uh, Kyung Shotwell, uh, Wonders by Wink on Etsy. This is her beautiful. I love this thing. <laughs> and uh, I love the, t the teals in it. Oh, my goodness. And yesterday, <laughs> which was Thursday, I did this. This is my challenge for um, Carolyn's Craft Tree. And uh, my dog is right there. That was one of the prompt words. Chihuahua. <laughs> Nobody seemed to be able to find that. And I had made up all of those build journals. So yesterday, I did all of these. I did 76 tea dye papers. Check these out. I put coffee dot. Uh, I did Folgers crystals on the wet tea as I put it on my sheet. And then later on, I put water in there instead of dibble dabbling the crystals on there i put water with the crystals and i flicked it on there i really like that look look how muted but grungy it looks i love that i'm gonna have to do that from now on check that out now they didn't get as as singed around the outside edges like i usually like but i still have to do a little ironing and i'm going to do another batch today <laughs> maybe <laughs> or tomorrow i'm going to do more but anyway thank you thank you for coming to visit hope you got some ideas uh come back and visit again sometime thank you bye